So, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've spoken about how to solve them real quick. But now what I like to do is I just want to go over a couple properties, right? We talked about properties of exponents, right? If you guys remember the product property, uh, this is of logarithm, but the product property of exponents, remember if you had x to the m times x to the n, then you did x to the m plus n, right? Right? And we've also talked about exponential form is related to logarithmic form, right? They have a connection. So let's go and take a look then. If What about if I have, um, how can I rewrite then the product property of two logarithms? So let's say I have log base x of a um, plus, uh, let me just do it like this, log base x of a times b. So if I have the same logarithm of base x and I'm multiplying two numbers or two expressions, that is equivalent to the log base x of a plus the log base x of b. So if I have the product within my logarithm, I can separate it now as the same base with a with log of x of a plus the log of x plus b. Okay? And this works the exact same way. This is what we call expanding. But if you're given a problem that looked like this, log base x of a plus log base x of b, we, you could rewrite that as the log base x of a times b. Working at this form is what we call condensing. So it works both ways. Yeah, we'll do that next. I just want to go through the general product property with you first. OK? So we're just going to go through all the properties first, and then I'll go through some examples. OK? Have you heard click? Click.